certain movies where you have out of order storytelling where the story isn't being told in chronological order think about man of steel here you go from seeing superman going down to earth as a baby to suddenly superman suddenly clark kent is an adult on a fishing boat. He then saves all these people from an oil rig disaster. And then we suddenly flash back to when Clark is a younger boy. And then we jump to him being a bit older. And then you have a flashback to when Clark was a bit younger with Jonathan. And so you have all these jumps in Clark's age. And therefore the movie is not told in order similar similar to batman begins from christopher nolan where you go from bruce being a kid to bruce as an adult trying to figure out the criminal mind and then you go from that to a flat you after that you have a flashback where bruce is a child also think about the Christopher Nolan movie Inception. In that case, by the time you get to the finale, it's three different timelines, basically. They're not playing out in exactly the, at exactly the same speed. And actually, Oppenheimer is a great recent example of what I'm talking about here, where... There is actually like three different timelines in the movie that are constantly cutting between, kind of similar to Man of Steel or Batman Begins. But in the case of Oppenheimer, there's actually more cutting in between the different timelines. Unlike Batman Begins, where a, a good amount of the movie actually is like told in order. There's just some parts of the movie that are out of order. Also, Phantom of the Opera 2004, I think it's a great example of this because you start off in the future, the scenes in black and white where an old Raoul and Madame Jury are going into the opera house when it's not running anymore. It's selling off, the this auctioneer is selling off some of the things the opera used to use. Then the chandelier is revealed, and so we flash back to when the opera was at its peak. And then throughout the movie, you get these flash forwards to when Raoul is old. And ultimately, as we see in the movie, goes to Christine's grave. Because we see it at this point in the timeline, Christine is no longer alive. And you have a flashback during the movie as well. And then when you think about the movie Memento from Christopher Nolan, I talked about this movie because it has an unreliable narrator, but also when you also because the movie is playing backwards, it's an example of out of order storytelling. Also a thing about the movie where the Crawdad Saint, that's a great example. That's a great example, actually, because there's two different timelines that happen in that movie where the main character, Kira, is a child in one of them, and then she's a, an adult in the other timeline going between them. With that in mind, I think I've covered all the big examples that I can think of right now when it comes to out of order storytelling